Hi parents, hi teachers. It's John Atkinson, occupational therapist from the John McGivney Children's Center. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about printing skills. As occupational therapists working in the school system, we often get asked if we can help improve a child's ability to write and print with better legibility. To be a functional printer, you can imagine a child needs to have functional eye-hand coordination skills, functional hand strength and in-hand manipulation skills, visual motor copying skills, visual spatial and organizational skills, as well as functional motor planning and sequencing skills. As occupational therapists, we try to build into a treatment program activities and games and exercises that help develop skills in these areas. When working on printing skills, we try to encourage the kids to demonstrate proper stroke sequencing as well as a top-down approach in order to build a fine foundation skill for letter formations. Once the kids know how to make the letters properly, then what we can do is we can build efficiency by increasing speed as well as introducing lines in order to improve legibility and organizational skills when the kids start to write small sentences. So I'm going to take this time to show you a couple of tips and strategies that we use as therapists to help make learning how to print fun and unique as well as effective for the children. If you are teaching your children how to print the letters of the alphabet and you notice that they're having a little bit of difficulty with letter formation, you may find it helpful to have a consistent set of verbal cues in order to help them understand the correct stroke sequences. You may also find it very helpful to have a consistent set of visual cues to also help them with correct stroke sequences. Always try to remember that you want to go top to bottom and left to right as much as possible. This is a sheet that I often use. The blue line indicates that it's the first stroke to be done and the red line will indicate that it's the last stroke to be done in order to complete these numbers. The same can be done with the letters of the alphabet.
Once your children start to develop a solid foundation for letter formation skills, you can start to introduce organization and legibility. I often find that the use of these graph paper sheets are very helpful for trying to teach the kids correct sizing and spacing. These graph paper sheets come in a variety of sizes and can be easily purchased at your local office supply store. In the classroom setting, we often encourage teachers to experiment with different types of writing paper in order to help the children develop better organization and legibility. Here's a few examples of some of the types of paper that we will encourage in the classroom setting. Some of these you can actually make at home just with a standard highlighter and regular paper. Some of these you can actually purchase from your local office supply store or school specialty supply store. Don't forget to check out the occupational therapy resources on the John McGivney Children's Center website. Thanks for watching and have a great day.